Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Great Britain, episode number 16. So uh, it's been a long time since my last video, so I apologize about that first. I guess it hasn't been that long because I did this stream on Saturday, but that's the big thing I wanted to say is that um, I did this live stream on Saturday. If you're watching this in the future, that won't mean anything to you, but um, I played as Spain and I was kind of experimenting with how to get, how to solve this problem that we're facing right now where the Americans are just invading us constantly in the Caribbean um, and in the East Coast, but we're at war with France, and even though we have superior superior ships, we can't actually force an engagement, and that's, I gotta say, that's a very frustrating thing. I think it's a real frustration that you could have in war, knowing that you have better ships and not being able to find the enemy. It's certainly how Great Britain felt uh, historically several times, both in World War One and, um, you know, to a degree in World War Two as well. Although Germany didn't really allow the same opportunity in World War II, they went for a different tactic. But still, it's very frustrating in the game to, to, to be forced to fight light cruiser versus armored cruiser engagements. Um, and when I played as Spain, what I did is I, I, I just, the playthrough was supposed to be a battleship only, capital ship only playthrough, basically. And I, I used battleships for my foreign tonnage, my foreign station ships. And the, I mean, the sad thing is it worked. <laughs> It's very effective. I don't ever get um, lopsided engagements when I just put battleships over there. So, again, um, I feel like lately all, all I've been doing is pointing out the flaws of the game. I, th I feel like part of the reason I'm doing that, subconsciously, I'm hoping that these things will be fixed. And I'm worried that if I don't mention them or point them out or if I don't harp on them enough, that people won't realize they exist and they'll just be ignored and we'll find the same things in real waves too. I kind of do this, um, do these, like mention these things on the, on the recordings as if Frederick, the developer was watching. And I, I don't think he is. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure he isn't. Um, so that might be a mistake. I just, I wish I had a secretary who could go file my complaints over onto the rule of waves forum, the Naval Warfare Simulations forum. But I, uh, I don't, I need to do it myself. <laughs> anyway, at the very end of the last episode, we moved into the Caribbean with our main fleet, then moved over to the East Coast to save Bermuda. And I think we're still there, but we probably are gonna need to move back because basically nothing, France is now blockading us and, okay, that's what I wanted to say. But the very last thing that happened is we were looking to get, go to war. Basically, I don't like the Americans now. I really, really have some, I really want to go to war just with the United States. I want to fight them one-on-one. -on -one. I want to just go into a huge fleet battle and eliminate them. That hasn't been get an option that's been given to us. So I, I think I got pretty frustrated last time, but you know what? In a way, this is an exciting uh, change of pace, right? It's a lot more difficult to play in this style where I don't really know what the best style is, to be honest. Okay, now let's... Um, go to core, line ahead, that sounds good. We need to turn this way, I think, and have the Albion go north to preserve our wind advantage. It is a strong gale, so we definitely want the wind advantage. This should suck her down, though. No? Well, we'll just have the Bird of Prey loop around anyway, and have the Albion take the first shots. Okay, Bird of Prey. Uh, did we lose her? Go get her. Whoa, there she is. Okay, let's just go right at her. Okay, we got her. Ah, there she is. Victor Hugo class, okay. Can I just get you to, if I do this, will you do anything kind of intelligently? No. Okay, maybe. We gave up the wind advantage, but obviously to pursue, we just want, would two on one, we'd rather pursue than have the precise wind advantage. And it looks like we'll be able to get the wind advantage back even. Um, Albion's taking a few hits here. Okay, now we probably need to control this ship separate because she's not gonna read my mind and do the things I really want to do. Her Okay, Albion's machine machinery is damaged. So now it's up to the bird of prey. Albion's pulling off the fight. Now, unfortunately, we are gonna run into a situation here very soon where the Albion, who is our main 
ship actually can't command the bird of prey and nope doesn't look like it's gonna be a problem because the Victor Hugo is looks like it's gonna be eliminated very quickly here well that's good news there it is so we did do they did do light damage to us but okay it did machinery mainly that machinery stuff so how do we use this knowledge we've gained from the Spanish playthrough to help us in this one part of it I don't know because in, in the Spanish playthrough I was still able to get fleet fights and that's the biggest problem in this one is that I can't. If we were able to get a fleet fight with the French, either the French or the Americans, everything would be okay. Now what I'm going to do um, as kind of a change of pace is I'm going to leave a lot of battleships, let's say let's leave these well, let's take this one, leave these three, four, let's leave these four battleships in, let's say even five, because I think, let me move these first to Northern Europe. Yeah, the Americans don't have that many ships there. If I leave five battleships, we might get some engagements which are favorable to us. And then I'm planning to move the rest of my ships actually to the Caribbean still. Because I knew I do need to defend the Caribbean. Wait, did I just move them to? I think I just moved them to the wrong place. I was thinking about going back to Northern Europe, but you know what I actually want to do is go back to the Caribbean, of all places. Um, I want. Okay, you, uh, every, both. No, you are going back to Northern Europe. Um, Caribbean people also go back to Northern Europe. And light cruisers. The Mediterranean's fine. No, it's not fine actually. No, I take that back. Well, I don't even remember why these are in the Mediterranean. Let's move a few back to Northern Europe, because I don't know why they're there. I'm looking for the Achilles class. This is the one I'm looking for. Okay, they're on the East Coast, so let's send all of them over to the Caribbean again. Actually, we need to, I think, kind of split. So these two will go back to Northern Europe. Ships are gonna be all over the place, but let's just, let's see how this goes. Oh man, we lost a Minesweeper. French Raider Montcalm has been forced to scuttle. Just scuttle, damn, due to lack of fuel. Amazing. Okay, enemy coastal raid we can't avoid. It's with the US? What? Doesn't make sense. I mean, it's wonderful. I really want to kill them. <laughs> of course, they're going to pick the, the time when I don't have any of my main ships out here. Enemy coastal raid. What do I like about enemy coastal raids? Absolutely nothing. I hate them. We just literally loop around for hours waiting for an enemy ship to appear. They won't. We'll get sightings, we'll go chase them. It's a really lousy situation. I hate. Okay, we slow down, but that might not actually be us. It might be one of our ships being shot at. We'll see up here. Yep, there it is. So we're gonna we're gonna lose this. This is just so stupid. We're gonna lose this um fight, not because we did anything wrong, but just because the game randomly gave us an enemy coastal raid. So yeah, we'll go over here, we'll see what we can find, but they'll probably be long gone by then. It's nighttime now, it can be very hard to find them. Yeah, well, very unfortunate. Really silly, it's kind of, I just, this is why I always decline them. So you can, if you, if you want to be really, uh, if you really want to try to find where they are, you have to be very methodical about it. Okay, I don't know where they were. It's a minor victory for the US for no good reason. Where were the enemy ships? They went all the way out here. I mean, this is just silly. I'm not even gonna acknowledge that that battle ever happened. <laughs> all right, so what has happened? We are now being blockaded. We are not yet blockading the Americans. We have 30 points. They brought some battleships back, which means that we should be stronger here. 
What happened? My ships, I didn't move them. Okay, that's fine. We'll do this shift now. So who is where? First of all, who is in, who's on the East Coast? That's it? Wow. Okay, well that makes things pretty simple. We have five battleships <laughs> on the East Coast and that's it. We have a battleship and a couple other ships in the Indian Ocean. I, this is um, what I want to do though. I want to go to battleships only on foreign tonnage uh, as my foreign tonnage. We have, everything's fine. So we'll leave that, those five battleships as pressure. And let's bring the rest of our ships. How close, so that means that we shouldn't be blocked. Oh, we're, yeah, we're blockading France. But the problem is the Americans are gonna continue to take over our Caribbean holdings, um, which I don't want. I wanna try to force a fleet engagement. I don't know how, I really wish I knew how, but I don't know how. We're just gonna go for it anyway. So pack your bags, dreadnoughts, and away we go. Kind of weird that they, let's do type and then location so I can actually get the dreadnoughts first, that's good. All right, I don't think, we basically just don't bring the ones that have the stars. And we don't bring the ones who are raiding. Oh no, I don't think we wanna bring any armored cruisers because they're only gonna go up against the American battle cruisers. So that doesn't strike me as a good idea. Let's bring only the Achilles class with us, except for the one that's raiding. Actually, no, forget the one that's raiding. You're moving as well. So let's get you to move to the Caribbean. And the one that is moving, that is raiding, let's put you on active fleet, good. And we have a lot of these Comus classes that we can set to raiding now. All the ones that are left here, well, there's not gonna, they're not gonna be doing anything else anyway, so we'll get four more Comus class to just start raiding in Northern Europe. I hope that helps. Okay, so we're just, <laughs> what we're doing doesn't make a whole lot of sense. We're gonna do it anyway. The Mediterranean lost some ships, what the heck? Okay, who's in the Mediterranean? I mean, we can solve this problem, we just put somebody Hey, that's not enough. Okay, this is, um, let's call it 40,000. How much does the Mediterranean need? Yeah, it needs 46,000. Okay, we actually do need another ship down there. Fair enough. We, I think we should have some light cruisers. Okay, location, type, Comus class in Northern Europe. Yeah, good, we have the Inherent Resolve is gonna move, it's gonna be on foreign stations and it's gonna move to the Mediterranean to make, to make us make weight. <laughs> All right. Fleet battle. <laughs> we <laughs> Take a drink real fast. I'm a I'm a broken man. I'm a broken man. They gave us a fleet battle uh, where our fleet isn't is no longer. <laughs> okay. How to win of an engagement against dreadnoughts and battle cruisers when we have two battleships, old battleships. You just you just don't win. We just go to Plymouth. We just go to port. We take our lumps. It just uh, it doesn't make sense. Okay, unknown ship sighted. What we can try to do, what I will try to do, is with our armored cruisers. Where are our armored cruisers? Yeah, St. George, by the way, the San Jorge in my uh, Spain live stream, which I will continue this Saturday. Have I already mentioned that? Um, ooh, the Interceptor, yes. Yeah, so we'll get our armored cruisers to pursue, to head on over there. 
but the the reincarnation of the Sankt George from our um, Austro-Hungarian playthrough has just done incredibly well. I, I'm kind of I kind of joke that we should rename the Spanish playthrough as the Saga of the San Jorge. She's done so so well <laughs> for herself. All right, let's do this. What do we have against though? Kind of would like to know. You are disposable, so go Argonaut. Go tell me what we're up against. Um, once these ships enter port, we should be able to take control of the armored cruisers directly. All right, Argonaut still has to tell us what we're up against. Oh God, I think I, yep, I did. I moved these guys the wrong way. Come on, give us something. Nothing, huh? I don't know what's going on with this fleet battle. I don't want to just sail into port, but okay. Looks like that's what we're going to do because they also don't want to fight. All right, so we're going to leave the St. George and the, the, our armored cruisers are not going to enter port, especially because they have a whole frickin' trail of Kingfisher class. We've seen what the Kingfisher class can do. We'll get these guys down to port. Now that should mean that these guys don't need to go to AI control. Who is the lead now? None independent. All right, let's get the St. George to follow. Just in case, I mean, this is, what? Hey, no, why did you? I was serious about those orders, I was not joking. There you go. Are you gonna follow them though? That's not, that doesn't look right. Yeah, you, you have the right orders, but you're not doing the right thing. Like, where are you going? Let's just do it this way. What? Where in God's name are you going? Did you re suddenly realize the error of your ways? <laughs> that the, the people you're supposed to be following are down here? Well, with all these destroyers, man, we, I just feel like we have to make a run for something, right? Let's go down and see if we can sink anything. Any kind of victory is something, right? Kind of feel like uh, this is what children do. They wait for the parents to go to bed. <laughs> Battleships, I'm talking about. And then they sneak off to have fun outside of Brest. I don't think we're going to catch the fleet down here, but much better to lose an armored cruiser in a close torpedo fight than a battleship. Uh, don't, don't, fight the, don't fight the land things. Don't fight those. Don't fight those. Don't fight those. Did we take any damage? Good. It's my fault, I got us a little bit too close, but I was hoping to get here in time to find some ships, but nope. So they did have three dreadnoughts. I'm actually gonna look at the details to see what we would have, what kind of problems we would have had. Yeah, that's not, that's not unsinkable from our battleships, but three of them and the other battleships on top of it probably I mean we, we only had th two battleships yeah this is impossible this is just an impossible mission literally mission impossible okay well what do we do we are now being blockaded so it's gonna be hard but I forgot to get our kingfishers out I don't think that they are in the Caribbean 
We'll try to send him out anyway. Move to the Caribbean. They'll probably be blocked, but that's okay. Yeah, the Russians have their 13-inch guns going. Yep, didn't make it. Oh, the royalty is hit. Now, uh, see, this is why I'm not sure we can really stay in the Caribbean. We're just damned if we do, and we're damned if we don't. There's no, there's no good situation here. All right, prepare to launch torpedoes. Hopefully you do. I'm really counting on you, Wave Rider. Gentle breeze. Take advantage of the wind. Squad max. We are actually hitting an armored cruiser. Okay, we've done enough. The fact that we got off a few shots was more than enough for me. If it's an armored cruiser though, it's not a battle we're gonna win, so. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to just give up. I don't know, I mean, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to try to accept peace the moment comes. The moment we have an opportunity to accept peace, I'm just gonna do it. It's not what I wanted to do, but it's just, wait, wait Plymouth has disappeared. <laughs> so it's actually a marginal victory for us, that's good. But okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take the earliest opportunity for peace. We're just barely ahead on victory points, which means it's going to be a wash, which means that we won't get back our colonies, but I think that that means I move out from the Caribbean. So I'll try to leave some battleships back. Hopefully this will discourage the total um, collapse, or what if I do it the other way? What if I just leave three dreadnoughts there? That way if we get into a fight, I, I actually will feel comfortable with them. Some, a few dreadnoughts and a few uh, light cruisers. Everyone else moved back to Northern Europe? Maybe. It could work. We're probably going to need a few of these ships. These Okay, so we're not blockading the Americans, right? They have moved back a, a sufficient force, yeah, to stop our blockade. So um, it's a nice move, but we're going to call back the Indomitable and the Coralie to move to Northern Europe to stop our being blockaded. It's just a kind of weird situation, you know? <laughs> and we are right at the doorstep of war with Germany too. Ah, man. Another interception probably by an armored cruiser, light cruiser situation. Boo. We don't want this anymore. We're tired of unfair fights. Can she catch us? That's the question. No. Can we get away? <laughs> That's the next question. Ah, yes. Boo! Two thumbs down. Two thumbs down. Okay, we have our fleet back though, so we should be blockading them now? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so, so lost. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, they, they actually got a hit or two, so they, they won that one. Fair enough, take your 37 victory points. Yeah, we're back. We're being blockaded still, what? Yeah, we definitely are. Okay, well, we wanted to do... We wanted to leave our dreadnoughts. It'd be really great if they gave us a fleet fight now. There's just no there's no overcoming this situation. <laughs> Alright, everyone in Northern Europe has to stop raiding as well. We need you all on active fleet now. Um Somebody's on foreign stations, that's a mistake. Uh, and 
move to Northern Europe. Yeah, we're gonna have to recall some of those ships from the Caribbean though, unfortunately. All right, we're gonna we're just, yeah. There's no winning strategy here. The only winning move is not to play. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Why did you, you wanted your fleet battle. He wanted your fleet battle. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh god. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh my god. <sighs> I think we can take a. If we can win this one. Um, we can ride the victory point lead to the nearest, the quickest peace terms. So this is huge, because we are fighting with the main German navy. I don't think we're going to have time to do this one, so what I'll probably do is uh, just make this a quick episode. I'm sorry it's been so long since I did the last one. Not so long, but let's just take a moment to see what we're up against. And then I will call this video to a close. We are up against, wow, that's actually decent. That's a decent ship. It's better than the French one at least. Very light on the secondaries, but good enough to take out destroyers. They don't have their Kaiserin class yet, which is good for us. Vondertan is nothing to write home about. Their Hindenburg, which they do have two available. 13 inch guns, cross deck fire. Okay, well, I think we can at least defeat the Germans. This is madness. Let me just take a moment to also think about what we did in this episode. We fought our first engagement here. We were able to sink an armored cruiser. Um, then we just, we moved our fleet from East Coast to Northern Europe. Then moved it over to the Caribbean. Then moved it back to Northern Europe. The one month we moved it out to the Caribbean was the one month we actually had a fleet fight with France. If that had been a real fleet, fleet fight, like with our main fleet actually there, we could have eliminated France, and the reason I really wanted to do that is because that would give us free reign to move our main fleet somewhere else without being blockaded. Um, that's the main problem, is that we're being blockaded back in Northern Europe if we move our fleet anywhere else. But if we were able to just do enough damage to France... Yeah, well, anyways, um, I will pick this up. We'll, we'll get a, the fleet battle is upcoming, a nice little... Uh, cliffhanger for everyone. I'm pretty confident we can win. We have so many ships, my god. And lots and lots of Kingfisher class, which it'll be fun to see them in action. Anyways, thanks for watching this episode, and I'll catch you back for the fleet battle in the next one. Until then, thanks for watching and take care.